loves, welcome to your daily love reading for January 19th, 2021. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, <clears throat> these readings are time stamped. You can find the time stamps in the description box below and in the comment section below. Okay. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let's get started. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, doing well. For those of you who are new, I do have a Cancerian only um, channel called Cancer Baby Tarot. The link is below if you would like to subscribe. And I am also on uh, Patreon for Cancers only. Okay, and that link is below also if you would like to join Patreon. Okay. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here today for my cancers, please. For January 19th, 2020, please, spirit. 2021. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got to get used to saying that. For January 19th, please, spirit. 2021, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So we have the Two of Cups. The Two of Swords, the Knight of Cups. We have the Judgment card. We have the Knight of Wands. And we have the Six of Cups. We have the Magician, the Three of Wands, and the Hierophant. So, Cancer, what I'm feeling here is... I don't know if someone had to necessarily choose between two situations or if someone here has a lot of love, but they were afraid to show it. Like someone here doesn't, because I'm seeing like a moon here. Like I feel like someone maybe has repressed emotions and they just didn't know if they should open their heart or not. Okay. I feel like this person... Um, is coming in making a solid decision. This is an ex. This is someone that you have broken something off with. Someone is coming in because they want to manifest a future with you, Cancer. This person sees marriage in the future. They see a life with you. Okay, they see a life with you. Under the deck, we've got the Six of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Um, I feel like this person is, they realize that they breadcrumb. They realize that they haven't given anything to this connection. They realize that you have offered a lot and they're just sitting there staring at what you're offering and not taking it they realize that they have pushed you away they realize and understand this um but I feel like it's taking them a, a little while here, but they you are their wish fulfillment. Maybe they haven't, you know, it's taken them a while for them to tell you, but you are their wish fulfillment. And seriously, this person is very much stuck in their head about you. This person's like borderline obsessed with wanting a future with you. I just feel like they don't say it. They don't show it. Spirit, what clarity and guidance do we have here? So we've got let go of control issues, flirt codependency and stay optimistic about your love life. So I feel that cancer, um, maybe you let go of this person because you thought that they were in a player energy. Okay. Or maybe you let go of this person because this person maybe wanted to keep things very light, but spirit is telling you to stay optimistic, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance because this person is being drawn back to you. They realize here that their feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay. All right. I love you. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here today for my Scorpios for January 19th, please? Messages for my Scorpios, please. January 19th, love messages for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So we have the Chariot and we have the Star. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Page of Swords. We have the Eight of Wands, King of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. Signs we could be dealing with Cancer, Aquarius, um, Libra, Gemini, Leo, Sag, Aries. Guys, I feel like someone here... 
I feel like someone has made the decision to move towards something new. And there's an ex here that is watching this happen, Scorpio, and they are pissed. They are jealous. Um, someone here may be very public about their new love or very public in general. Just may someone, someone's body maybe has changed. Someone's just looking good, feeling good. And it's very public. Like people are talking about it. And I feel like, you know, someone's very jealous over an ex. Scorpio, it could be you, could be your person. I don't know. You know, I don't know here. But someone is very jealous that somebody has moved on to new love. And with the Eight of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune, someone here has possibly moved on to a fire sign. Doesn't have to be, though. Um, but someone is very confident in this new place that they're going. They're, they're very confident that where they're going is where they're destined to be. Do you understand? Um, someone here is just on fire. They're looking good, feeling good. Someone here has moved on. And I feel like, uh, yeah, yeah, see, and the sun card, it's very visible. It's very visible that someone here has moved on. Okay, um, it's very visible that someone here has moved on. It's, it's very like people are talking about it. It's online. There's pictures, you know, and I feel like someone's very jealous. And X here is very jealous. Whoa, way too many cards. Way too many cards. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Scorpios? Way too many messages. Spirit, messages for my Scorpios. All right, so let's see here. So we've got past life relationship and passion, okay? We've got, um, yeah, I feel like we've got a past life relationship that's trying to come in flying, trying to make the effort, but there's no love there. There's no love there. I feel like there's a third party. You see how there's three people in that picture? I feel like someone moved on to someone new. They're opening up them, their hearts. Their, their, their bond is deepening. There's more trust here. Okay, there's there's more trust here in the newer connection. All right. I love you guys. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, for any Pisces that are new to this channel, I just wanted to give you a heads up. You do have a Piscean-only channel. I post a love reading for Pisces just about every single day. The link for that is in the description box below. It's called Perfectly Pisces Tarot, okay? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity Guidance, Love Messages for my Pisces. Pisces, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces, please. January 19th. So we've got the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the High Priestess, the Two of Wands, the Seven of Swords, the Empress, the Tower, and the Four of Wands. Signs we could be dealing with. Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Libra, and Scorpio. All right. So I feel here that someone feels like they're giving more than they're getting. Do you see what I'm saying? Like someone, one person in this connection is very selfish and it's all about the giving, the giving, the giving. And with the nine of swords energy, um, someone here is just like tired of it. They're up all night. They're really anxious and worried about this. Something is telling this person that something is wrong. And with the high priestess, the two of wands and the seven of swords, I feel like someone's intuition is saying when it comes down to the nitty gritty, this person is going to make the decision to dip on me. Do you understand? Um, with the Empress, the Tower, and the Four of Wands, this could mean a couple of things. It could mean that this person ends up proposing marriage out of nowhere, and this person is shocked because they were so certain that, you know what I'm saying, this person was going to dip on them, okay? Or it could mean that someone's about to find out that someone is actually, in fact, married. We've got the Three of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. So, guys, it could mean here that, you know, someone's in their head because from what I'm seeing here, someone's very passionate about having a future here. Someone's very passionate about having a future. So someone here may be positive that they're giving to a connection that's going to fail, that in the end, they're just going to end up losing. This person's going to leave them when in fact, this person plans on staying and committing. Okay. 
let go of control issues, engagement, and healing family issues. So I feel like Spirit is saying to let go, allow everything to unfold naturally. This person will commit to you. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And healing family issues, um, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So Pisces, there may be something that happened in your childhood or when you were younger that sparked these insecurities in you to always think that people are going to... A, I'm getting a sense of like abandonment issues here almost, okay? So someone here has a fear that the other person Person is going to leave when in fact this person is about to pop the question or you know they're going to surprise you and actually commit in this connection okay i love you guys bye hello my loves welcome to your daily love reading for virgo sun moon rising venus signs for january 19th so my loves if you are new here i just wanted to let you guys know that you do have your own virgo channel virtuous virgo tarot um and i post a love reading on there almost every day for my virgos okay so if you want to check it out and subscribe the link is below Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Virgos, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for January 19th, please. Holy Spirit. So we have the Three of Wands and we have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Hermit, Virgo Energy. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Five of Swords. And we have the Judgment card. We have the Ace of Cups, we have the Page of Cups, and we have the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, pre Empress energy. So signs we could be dealing with, very strong Virgo, there you are, Sagittarian energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So Virgo, what I'm feeling here is there's a question of what do I want for my future? What do I want to do? What do I want to work on? Which direction do I want to go in? The situation I'm in right now, will it work? Is it solid? And if so, am I sabotaging it? You know what I'm saying? Am I sabotaging something good? Am I letting go and releasing something and walking away from something that could actually be solid and good for me? Um, I feel like a decision has to be made here. And I feel like maybe there's an apology or an offer incoming towards a... Um, towards a pre empress energy. Yeah, so Virgo, you may have an offer of new love coming in and you have to ask yourself, is this good for me? Or you may be offering someone else. We've got the King of Swords under the deck and the Six of Wands with the, the Queen of Pentacles. Um, I feel that someone is making a logical decision here on what's best for them. You know what I'm saying? Is, is there going to be loyalty here? Is there going to be commitment? Is there going to be financial assistance? Is that, you know what I'm saying? Like someone's, someone's kind of going through that. Um, they're not making a decision here that's based on emotion. Okay. They're making a decision here, like with a checklist, like, yep, they got this and yep, they got that. And yep, they got this. And someone here is like, okay, yep, this is the one. Do you understand? And I feel like when that decision is made, then someone will come and offer this cup of love. Spirit, what messages do we have here? Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Yeah, I mean, someone needs to make a decision here. Let go of control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations and deception. Someone's wearing a false self mask. So what I feel here, Virgo, is that someone needs to make a decision. Someone needs to let go and keep an open mind. I feel like maybe this person uh, has a different physical appearance or there's something different about this person than what you would normally go for. Um But you may be tricking yourself into feeling like they're different when they're not. Um... Like, I get a sense, like, someone's more interested than they're letting on. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, you're deceiving yourself into thinking, like, you're someone here is probably talking themselves out of a relationship when, in fact, you know, you may have a beautiful soulmate connection with somebody and it may really work out, you know? Okay? I love you guys. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. 
Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Capricorns, please, for January 19th, 2020, January 19th, 2020, clarity, guidance, love messages for my Capricorns. So we've got the Knight of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Hermit card. We have the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Cups, and we have the Page of Wands. Temperance, the Magician, and the Knight of Swords. So signs we could be dealing with, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Leo, Sag, Aries, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Guys, I feel like there's someone here that comes forward with a lot of romance and a lot of promise for the future, and then they withdraw. Someone here comes in to work on a connection, and then they withdraw. Someone comes in wanting to make peace, and then they withdraw. <laughs> like it's like it's like it's like very black back and forth in and out manipulative energy. Um, the five of wands, the page of swords, and the three of cups, and the ace of swords. Someone may be finding out the truth that there's competition or a third party energy here. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, or it could just be that this back and forth energy of coming, going, reconciling, fighting, sabotaging, someone's just realizing it's a pattern and they're getting tired. Or it could be that someone is realizing that there's competition, there's third party energies. And guys, this does not have to be romantic. It could just mean that their friends don't like this connection, their family doesn't like this connection. Um, there, there's too much drama in their life that's causing a third party situation. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, it could even mean that this person has a drinking habit, that they like to party, that they have addictions. Do you understand? Um, it, it could, it's something that's causing a lot of conflict in this connection. That's why they're on, they're off. One day they're here, one day they're gone. Spirit, what clarity, guidance. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. We've got um, express your love in the reverse and children in the reverse. I feel like this is not someone that's ready to commit. This person doesn't want to open their heart to love. This person may not want children. They don't want a new beginning in love. Um, I feel yourself. I feel like you're making the effort and you should free yourself from this because you deserve love, you know, and this person's not giving you the love that you deserve. Okay. I love you guys. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Taurus, please. For January 19th, 2020, Taurus, 2021, excuse me, Spirit, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So we have the Magician and the Knight of Swords, Page of Cups, the King of Swords, the Devil, the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Wands, we've got the Death card, and the Queen of Swords. So I feel that someone here is manifesting somebody to come back into their life. Somebody here maybe is turning to magic. They're making a very impulsive decision to turn towards magic. Um, I feel here that someone is obsessed with possibly a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Doesn't have to be. We could be dealing with a Virgo, a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius, Leo, Sag, Aries, Yeah, guys, I feel like someone here is maybe making, getting a little reckless with magic, possibly, because they want someone to speak to them. They want, they want communication here. Um, someone is, is planning, that they're, they're brewing a plan. They're trying to be strategic to get to this queen of cups that's not even looking at them. Do you understand? That's not even looking at them. Um, and I feel like the obsession stems even more because they're not being seen or looked at. Now, Taurus, keep in mind, 
that gender doesn't matter here and that you could play any role here. With the Eight of Wands, the Death card, and the Queen of Swords, um, I feel like feelings have changed here. Things There's going to be communication of changed behavior and it's going to be very guarded. Someone here is going to be very guarded. Someone here has changed. Three of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the uh, the Empress. I feel like someone really wants someone to come back and reconcile. Somebody may even want someone to apologize. Um yeah, I feel like someone is afraid of losing this Empress energy. Someone's afraid of losing someone here. Someone's really on their knees, you know, hoping and praying for this connection to get back together. They don't want to lose somebody here. Someone's intuition is telling them that this is a soulmate. Yeah, that this is a soulmate. I'm getting that, you know, just someone's just very fixated, not wanting this connection to come apart. We've got very soon clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others and codependency. Yeah, I feel like someone's going to make a decision to come in to try to communicate, to flirt, to give it another shot. But someone is, they're, 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 they've changed. Someone here is no longer that loving, sweet, kind person. Someone here has been through something and they've changed. You could tell their energy has changed. All right, guys, I love you and take care. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Aquarians, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for January 19th, please, Spirit. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarius, please. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. We've got the Devil. We have the Justice card. We have the Lover's card. We have the Five of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. So, Aquarius, what I'm feeling here is... Um, I feel like somebody wants to be single. I feel like someone here wants to be single. I feel like somebody has a decision to make. I feel like somebody here is dealing with a lot of emotional manipulation. I feel like someone here just wants to push something away emotionally unhinge walk I, I don't even feel like the feelings are there anymore in this connection someone here is it has like this twisted stomach feeling because they know that this is the beginning of the end do you understand what I'm saying someone wants to be single someone here or it could be that someone's also obsessed with a Virgo or um you know, a pre-empress energy, possibly that there could be two people in the picture here that it could be a third party. Yes, it could. You know what I'm saying? We've got two, a queen of pentacles here. I'm sorry, a nine of pentacles and a, a pre-empress. We have a pre-empress energy and a queen of cups. Good Lord almighty. <laughs> um, I, it could be that someone has to choose between two people, but the ultimate energy that I'm feeling is someone here just wants to get away from something and they're just like sick to their stomach because they don't know how to make this happen. The magician, the seven of cups and the six of pentacles. Um, I feel like someone here is very manipulative. I feel like someone creates a lot of illusions. I feel like someone here breadcrumbs. Um, I, I feel like Aquarius, you're waking up to a lot of things here. Um, I feel like you're waking up to a lot of things here. Yeah. And I feel like you're making the decision here or coming to the realization that it's time to cut something off or cut something out. You may be wanting to move towards an ex possibly. Uh, it doesn't have to be though. But I do feel like you're, you, you want to get away from, there's a sense of somebody here. If it's not you Aquarius, it could be your person. Somebody here wants to get away from something. So we have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you <laughs> experience more love in your present moments. Trust the situation is calling for you to have faith and new love and new person to have stirred your romantic feelings. So I feel like you don't hold any grudges or any, you know, ill wishes towards anybody. Um, you just believe that you're ready for something new. You know what I'm saying? You, you're, you're ready for something new. You're ready for a new beginning in life. You're just, you're ready to, to leave and to move on. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. Um, 
and honeymoon. Yeah, I, I feel like you're ready. Someone here is just ready to walk away and let whatever God or the universe brings to them, brings to them. You know what I'm saying? Someone here just wants to be, uh, someone wants to move on. Okay. I love you. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Geminis, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for January 19th, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Geminis. So we've got the Justice card. And we have the Two of Wands. The Strength card. Ace of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles. The Seven of Wands. The Nine of Swords. The Ace of Cups. And the Two of Swords. So what I'm feeling here, guys, is someone is, okay, someone is making the decision here of should I do the right thing? Should I go in and balance out these scales? Should I go in and apologize? Or should I go in and ask for forgiveness? Should I go in and do the right thing? It's nagging at somebody. Um, but at the same time, they're not making a move. Why? Because someone here is scared of coming in, speaking to somebody. This may be someone that you haven't spoken to in a while, okay? Um, I feel like someone is scared that they're going to start this conversation and start talking to somebody about, you know, working things out or whatnot and that it's going to be rejected. Um, someone here is scared of them saying, yeah, listen, I've met someone new. I'm sorry, I can't talk to you anymore. Do you understand? Um or I'm in a relationship, I'm sorry, we can't work this out. Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, and the Five of Wands with the Four of Pentacles, the three, yeah, so someone here maybe took too long to come in and apologize. Someone here um, is maybe afraid that someone has emotionally disconnected, walked away, um, that they're going to hold back to give to the competition. Someone is afraid that third party energies has, have won and that, you know, someone's going to get stuck, you know, with their offer just hanging in the air. Do you understand what I'm saying? Someone's afraid of putting out an offer and their offer just like swinging in the air while knowing that, you know, third party energies uh, have won. We've got honeymoon. Whoa passion and playfulness. So I feel like someone here is very passionate about wanting to come forward. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, come forward. I feel that with religious factors, getting to know each other in past life, someone's being divinely guided to an ex, I'm feeling. Um, yeah. Someone here, someone here is being divinely guided back to an ex towards someone from their past wanting forgiveness, but I feel like someone is afraid that there might be a third party energy in the middle, okay? And it would be, I mean, you haven't spoken to this person in so long, Gemini, that it would be, literally be like, you would have to like get to know each other all over again. You know, that's how long it's been, okay? I love you. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, let's see here. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Libras, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for January 19th. Love messages for my Libras, please. Holy Spirit. Okay, so we have the High Priestess Ooh. and the Seven of Cups. Oh boy. High Priestess, Seven of Cups, and the Three of Cups. Three of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. What else do we have for my Libras, please? What else do we have for my Libras? Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. What else do we have here for my Libras, please? 
Wow. So Libra, we have someone here that um, wants to reconcile with you. Okay. We have someone that wants to reconcile with you, but they're giving the illusion that they do not want to reconcile with you. They're keeping it to themselves. But I promise you, this person really wishes that they could have a new beginning with you. They feel very lonely without you. They feel very cold without you. They feel like they feel they they know what they lost because they're realizing here that they love you. You have an ex here that really wants a new beginning in love. They're realizing that you have an ex here that knows that they love you. Okay. Uh, Nine of Pentacles under the deck. Virgo energy. Pre Empress energy. The magician. And the devil. Uh, guys, I feel like someone here maybe is turning to black magic possibly. Okay. Um, this person sees you as pre Empress material. They're realizing your worth now. They're realizing that you are the one. So if they're not turning to black magic, this person is obsessed. Like they're, they are obsessive about wanting to manifest and get this back. Okay. Well, so we've got children and express your love. Someone here wants a new beginning. They want to express their love. They want to tell, like they want a total fresh, fresh start. And I feel like this person is not lying. They are not a player. This person is not playing games. They really want to make the effort here. Great love is worth taking this. Man, Libra, I, cards have not jumped like this throughout this whole read. It's been 31 minutes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your, your cards are all over. Spirit is saying trust that this person is making the effort to move this connection in the right direction okay so i would definitely i mean of all the times you've reconciled with buttheads in your life i would take this one reconciliation offer okay i love you guys bye hello my loves welcome to your daily love reading for leo sun moon rising and venus signs i hope everyone is safe happy healthy and doing well for those of you who are new to the channel or for those of you who simply don't know um leo does have their very own channel leo of light um i post a love reading for leo just about every single day so you can find the link to that in the description box below if you would like to subscribe okay Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Leos, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for January 19th. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Leos, please. For my Leos, please. January 19th, please. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands. We have the Five of Wands. And we have the Emperor. Oh, boy. Okay, so we've got the Eight of Cups, we've got the Six of Swords, and we have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Whoa, too many cards. We have the Judgment card, we've got the High Priestess. One more, please. We've got the Seven of Swords in the reverse, and we've got the World card. So, Leo, what I'm feeling here is someone-y, some, someone-y, someone-y. This is a new word. We're going to use it. Someone-y. Okay. So, someone-y here <laughs> is, is really wanting to step in and whoop the competition's butt. Okay. Signs we could be dealing with Aries, Taurus, um cancer pisces sag okay so this emperor wants to step up to the plate and whoop the competition's butt okay someone here is trying to leave someone here doesn't want to give to a situation anymore and i feel like someone's making a final decision call that they are not going to lie they are not going to cheat they're not going to keep secrets they're not doing anything that chapter of this connection is over and we're moving on to something new here so what's happening here is is that this person um is saying okay i'm gonna commit so that you can like someone here doesn't i i feel like someone just wants to come in and have a solid commitment they don't want to have options they don't want you to have options they just want you guys to focus on each other page of wands queen of wands the devil and the nine of cups i feel like someone here i'm actually hearing that song um i don't know if you guys know it i'm a dog too 
Okay, so I feel like someone here liked to t like to speak to third party energies. They like to create a lot of jealousy and conflict. Someone here was very jealous. Um, and I feel that somebody's getting a taste of their own medicine. Someone's getting a taste of their own medicine. We've got an offer to work on things big time coming in. Okay, an offer to work on things big time. Uh, and let's kill all the other options, please. Let's stop talking to everybody. Okay, <laughs> let's stop talking to everybody. Because so, you know, What's happening here is, is this emperor is getting a taste of their own medicine, okay? Someone liked to speak to other people, and I feel like this person just said, okay, well, I'm out. I'm going to go talk to other people, too. And someone said, okay, let's not talk to anybody. Let's only talk to each other. Let's only talk to each other. <laughs> That's I, I don't think we need to be talking to other people. So we've got children. Keep an open mind. Yeah, so I feel here that someone was acting very childish, very immature. I feel like somebody here was keeping their options open and you decided to, you know, put your self-respect first. And I feel like, you know, you told this person, well, I'm going to start talking to other people too. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start talking to other people too. Either love me or leave me. Like, what are you doing here? You know what I'm saying? Love me or leave me. That's kind of the um the 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 thing i'm feeling here you know someone was like listen i you know i feel like you were on i'm just gonna do what's best for me then you know i'm not gonna stay in a relationship where i'm unloved right so i feel like this person got their their crap together let me get one more please one more please yeah see release your ex so this queen of wands energy may have been an ex may have been an ex, but I feel like someone here is releasing that negative past behavior and moving on towards something, you know, moving into a better behavior pattern because they don't want to lose this connection. Okay. I love you. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, Aries has their own uh, channel, okay? So I post a love reading for Aries every single day. It's called um, The Allure of Aries Tarot, and you can find the link to that in the description box below if you would like to subscribe, okay? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for January 19th, please. So we have the Sun and the queen of pentacles and the five of pentacles we've got the justice card the five of wands and the nine of swords we've got the five of wands we've got the two of wands and we've got the high priestess okay so i feel like someone is realizing here i'm sorry guys signs that we could be dealing with leo um capricorn taurus virgo libra cancer pisces okay um Someone is coming to the realization that this Queen of Pentacles has really left the building, okay? So the Queen of Pentacles is someone very stable, very responsible, very nurturing, could be someone also very financially well off, all right? Uh, I feel like someone is realizing that they have lost all of that, okay? And they realize that it, they deserve that. They deserve that because someone here was playing a ridiculous amount of mind games and now they're all twisted up in their head and in their stomach not knowing, you know, should I, uh, what should I do now? You know what I'm saying? Someone's kind of in this energy of what, what, what should I do now? You know what I'm saying? What what path do I, wh which way do I go now? You know, what do I do now? They've really left me, okay? We've got the death card, the emperor, and the wheel of fortune. Yeah, the tables have turned on somebody. So someone here either has to grow up and apologize and really offer something committed, um, or they're going to be pushed away and someone's walking away to go pursue other options. I mean, that's just the bottom line here. I feel like, you know, because the queen of pentacles i mean that the queen of pentacles wants a king of pentacles the queen of pentacles wants an emperor you know what i'm saying the queen of pentacles wants somebody solid stable committed right so i feel that you know someone either needs to change and step up to the plate um or they're gonna lose this person plain and simple aries okay spirit clarity guidance so we've got romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And let your friends help you. And we've got honeymoon. So I feel here...
I feel like someone has a choice. They can either go mess around with their friends, okay? Or they can make the effort, trust their feelings, and provide safety and trust for their person. So someone here either has like friends with benefits or they're allowing other people to get involved. Tell me about this. Let your friends help you flirt and you deserve love yeah you see here so someone here is flirting with other people keeping their options open not giving you the love that you deserve so they have to make a choice yeah they have to make a choice here guys you know they could either step up to the plate and commit or you're leaving and you're pursuing other options okay i love you bye hello my loves welcome to your daily love reading for sagittarius sun moon rising and venus signs i hope uh everyone is happy safe healthy and doing well so let's go ahead and get shuffled up here holy spirit angel spirit and guides clarity guidance and love messages clarity guidance and love messages for my sagittarians please january 19th 2020 so we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. We've got the Ten of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. Five of Swords, the Chariot, and the Six of Swords. So, Sag, I feel like we have a situation, uh, excuse me, signs that we could be dealing with. Dealing with Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and that's it. Um, I feel like uh, there's love here. There's love, commitment, deep soulmate connection. Things are moving along slowly, but there's a lot of love, a lot of loyalty, a lot of commitment here. Um, I feel like someone is slowly trying to work this connection up to a 10 of pentacles energy, excuse me, a 10 of cups energy. Someone is very committed, very solid, okay? Um, I feel like someone here is wanting victory with you. I feel like someone is choosing to leave any and all toxicity behind and move forward with you here. We've got the Magician, the High Priestess, and the Ten of Wands. Um, I feel that someone here may have a secret that they're keeping to themselves, okay, to keep the peace, to not have any problems. Um... Yeah, I feel like with the Four of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the King of Cups, the King to the Queen of Cups, I feel like someone just, want, they're very peaceful in this connection. There is a secret here that's burdening them, but they don't want to bring it up because they don't want problems. I feel like someone here is making the decision to leave something toxic or to leave something that's very negative behind, but they're not telling you about it, Sag. They're not telling you about it because the connection is very peaceful. Um, yeah, they feel safe here. Uh, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Let your friends help you. So I feel like this person might be turning to friends to try to resolve the issue because they don't want to upset any balance between you and them. Too many cards. Pay attention to the red flags and passion. Um, so I feel like maybe uh, someone's friends are telling them something. Um, what's happening here? Okay, there may be an ex here that's that's a little toxic, okay? Someone that needs to let go of control issues here. And they may be turning to friends and family members. Um, so I feel that someone here, I, I feel like it's okay, it's safe to trust this person. There's no love between your person and this ex. But there may be an ex here that is turning to friends and family members. And your person may not want to tell you because they don't want to disrupt the, the, the peace that you guys have in your connection, okay? So it's safe for you to love this person. It's safe for you to trust them. You see what I'm saying? They are committed to you the, the love is real it is a divinely guided soulmate um but i feel like this person has an ex that's a little wacky turning to friends and family members and they're leaving this behind they have no interest in this ex whatsoever but they may not be telling you because they don't want to they're overwhelmed by it there it's a huge burden but they don't want to disrupt the peace between you and them okay all right guys i love you and take care bye